Welcome back darlings. In this video I'm going to be comparing Synergy Light V2 versus Synergy Wax because some people are scared of doing a ceramic coating and uh, would prefer the paste wax experience. However these are both two products that will last about a year and are true ceramics. So what I'm going to do is do a side by side. On the passenger side or right hand side of the screen as you look at it will be the Synergy Light V2 and on the left hand side or the driver's side of the car will be Synergy Wax. On the top half I'm going to do it with a primer polish underneath to see if that helps because it will improve the look. Talking of the primer polish I am going to be using Mother CMX Ceramic 3-in-1 Polish and Coat. Okay, so this thing on the front says it's a, it does paint correction and it's an SIO2 primer and it's a ceramic repairer and refresher. On the back, it tells you that it uh, takes the guesswork out of applying and maintaining ceramic coatings that can be used at all stages of the ceramic coating process, from pre-coat paint correction to priming your paint for ceramic application or even repair and refresh of an existing coating. This three-in-one formula does it all. Cutting edge abrasives quickly remove minor imperfections of any coated or uncoated paint surface while laying down an acrylic SiO2 ceramic foundational primer layer for optimal coating adhesion and lasting bond. Best of all, this formula does not contain waxes or oils that negate the surface adhesion so coatings can be applied immediately after use. Use independently or follow with Mother's CMX ceramic spray coating for, to further enhance your paint's colour, gloss, uh, clarity and ceramic protection. For hand or machine use, dispense a small amount of product onto a soft clean microfiber towel suitable for the applicator or buffer, or directly onto the buffer pad. Work in a one to two foot square sections, polish the surface thoroughly using consistent and even pressure, remove the product while wet and clean, uh, clean with a dry microfiber towel, turning the towel frequently for best buffing action. So it's really interesting this to me, because it says ceramic coating all the way through and then it says follow with the spray coating because the spray coating is nothing like a proper ceramic coating but all of its blurb says ceramic coating so this is why I use it I've not had any issues with this but I want to demonstrate it to you as well so as part of this test we're going to do that first off I am priming the pad I'm using the new DA9 there um, from into detailing really nice small upgrade from the DA8 I wouldn't bother doing it as, as I can upgrade from one machine to the other but it's uh, if you are when the DA8 stops being sold and the DA9 is the only one that's available, it is an upgrade from that. So the DA8 is now going to be the Dash 6 Pro V2 from Clean Your Car. Um, this is better than that for sure. I'll do a more comprehensive review of that though because just my words aren't enough. Um, what I'm using is the Shoal Concepts Purple Spider, uh, yeah, Purple Spider Pad which gives it a bit of cut, but I'm only really doing one set and in that I'm only going up and down and across once. So normally I would probably work that and do two passes each way. So there'll be four polishing sections at all. So let me just show you that. This is the speed I'm actually moving the polisher at because the rest of the time it's sped up. It's probably worth seeing. I hadn't said earlier, I have chemically decontaminated this panel. So the bonnet has had um, Infinity Wax Liquid Fire for the fallout removal and Garage Therapy WSR for the demineralization. It hasn't been clayed because the whole point of waxing and lightweight ceramic coating is you shouldn't need to go into such heavy prep that you would with a um, full-blown ceramic. Like um, even Synergy 2, I think you'd probably want to do more prep like by uh, even a light polish. But that's why I'm using the primer polish first to see if that does affect the longevity and the looks. My car isn't in bad condition, so it doesn't look that bad. I've just applied, I know it's sped up, but I've just applied the Synergy Light V2. It was so easy. I had no problems with high spots. It leveled really easily. It went on very well. As opposed to this, where I'm really struggling to get some product on this applicator. I was having to put a lot of pressure on the applicator in the pot to get any product on it. You can see I've got some, but I was really, really struggling. And normally my experience with waxes is you put the applicator in the tin, twist it, or you just wipe it across the surface and it loads up the applicator, no problem. So uh, yeah, I, I was really struggling there. But once I got some on, um, it buffed off very, very easily. Uh, you're more, more work than leveling the light, Synergy Light V2. 
However, it was still very easy. So that's a good thing. As a wax, standalone wax, it's very, very easy to wipe off. So I've got the panel set up. They've got the vertically um, split, got the Synergy wax and the Synergy light. And then horizontally, you've got the um, mothers underneath it across the top half, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's hard to explain, I know, but um, you get the idea. We did the polish all the way across the top, and then we did the um, ceramic coatings of either type, the wax or the lightweight ceramic on either side. Both felt pretty slick, but now it's time to let them cure. Talking of which, about a day or two later, this was the beading I was seeing. This particularly here is the Synergy Light V2. And now we're looking at the uh, Synergy Wax. The beads aren't as tight here. Quick interlude for you. After three weeks, I found that the Synergy Wax had just disappeared. So whatever water behavior I was seeing was from like the resins that were in there, the carrying agents. I hadn't applied it properly. So those thoughts I was having when I was doing the application uh, were absolutely right. I wasn't getting enough on the applicator. I wasn't doing a particularly good job. I spoke to Steve Mahon, yeah, um, Geeky Details, and asked him for some advice how to use it. Because uh, it was, was I what I experiencing normal? Not thinking that it was. And he corrected me, uh, my process. He said two things, leave the tub out to breathe, so take the lid off the wax, let it breathe for a little bit and make sure it's warm. Uh, so when I started doing it the first time, uh, I think it might have been somewhere between 10 and 12 degrees. It wasn't particularly warm. The wax had been out in the van for, for like a few days. It wasn't particularly warm those few days either. So it was quite hard. Um, so what I did the next time, I took it inside, left it inside overnight for a couple, well, for a couple of days actually, and then brought it out when I wanted to use it. And I reapplied. So three weeks after the initial application, I noticed it wasn't performing. I then quickly wiped down the surface again with IPA and uh, the whole thing. So if that removed anything from the uh, uh, CMX, uh, then that's happened, oh well. Uh, and then I reapplied it and I had a much better experience. So I took exactly the same approach, just didn't film it. Um, just wiped the, uh, the thing, the applicator across the top of the pot, way more product came off onto the applicator this time, rubbed it in like a normal wax. It broke through the crust that was in on the top of the uh, wax. Not that it was really a particular crust. It weren't on normally is all I'm gonna say. So what you're about to watch next is the first wash, which was about seven weeks after I'd applied it the second time. So it's all been washed once before. Obviously that's when I found out that the Synergy Wax had failed. Uh, and it was an application error, so it was my fault. So let's get on to this first wash, which is now seven weeks after that. So you, this is, yeah, as I said, about seven weeks since the last clean, there's been a lot of um, like pollen in the air, and it's been under a tree that's spelled like a sap over it. So this is the hydrophobics that are left, the latent hydrophobics unwashed from the Synergy Light V2. Yeah, this is it from the Synergy Wax. Um, it's not as good. So that after that second application, it still is not as hydrophobic as the other side. However, this is heavily clogged up with rubbish effectively. Um, so I need to give it a good clean. And we're gonna start off with snow foaming it with Garage Therapy Snow V2. And that was at uh, two and a half percent PIR, I think, which is weird, which is how I measured it out at the time. And I let that dwell for five minutes. You can see here, I think, on the left-hand side, that's the Synergy Light V2. It's pushing away the um, snow foam more than the Synergy Wax on the right-hand side, which clearly to me tells you that it's more hydrophobic. But these have been dwelling at exactly the same time. Uh, and it never really catches up on the Synergy Wax side. When you're giving it a rinse off, you can instantly see that the even just from the pre-wash, the Synergy Light on the left-hand side is far more hydrophobic. Like it's, it's, it's not even much of a contest, is it? There's a big difference between the two. If you just had the Synergy Wax on all, all over the car, I think you'd be pretty happy with it. But when you see the Synergy Light next to it, you realize how good that product is. And for me, how much easier it was. I'm not saying I, I applied the Synergy Wax particularly well. I still think I was having problems with it, even though I did it better. 
I just struggle with waxes, I think. This one's like that. I was having real issues with it. However, I had no issues whatsoever with the Synergy Light. And to give them both a real good chance here, I am washing them, contact wash, and that is with the new Garage Therapy Demineralization Shampoo. It's their acidic shampoo. It's really nice, very sudsy. I live in quite a hard water area. I've got about 350 parts per million. Um, so actually, for me, it's probably just like a good go-to standard shampoo now um, because of the water I have to deal with. So that may be where I go with it. However, I wanted to use that to help remove any mineral deposits that are um, embedded in. And you can see it has sped up the hydrophobics on both of them. Particularly the uh, Synergy Light has just like really started bouncing back. The Synergy Wax is doing stuff. So there's definitely still product there. It's just a bit more sheeting, which isn't inherently a bad thing in and of itself. To get a real perspective on the difference in hydrophobics you can clearly see what side has the synergy wax and what had the uh, synergy light and um, there's a big difference isn't there and this is actually more of the synergy light here you can see there's a big difference in how that is beating up and that's where we are now in case we've done that it's been on for about three months in total for the uh, synergy light v2 especially I I don't really like waxes. I'm not a wax person, and this has done nothing to allay that. I just find ceramic coatings and spray coatings so much easier to use. And you saw how straightforward and easy the Synergy Light V2 was. I have never applied any coating that was that straightforward, and it's doing incredibly well. I actually had some footage, but we can't get it. It was on my um, dash cam, but it's uh, deleted, unfortunately, of me driving along just after it rained overnight, and you can see the Synergy Light V2 side shedding the water far more quickly than the uh, Synergy Wax. It's not to say Synergy Wax is bad, and if you are still on the fence around ceramic coating, and it, or you just like the waxing experience, I don't, but if you do, I would go for it, it is good. I think it's still me that has applied it badly, and like I said, I don't apply a lot of waxes. Um, but here's the thing, it is harder to apply, in my opinion. Synergy Light V2 is so easy. I don't know why you would bother doing anything else. I am going to keep an eye on this for the rest of the year. I'll document as many of the washes as I can. Um, I won't do all of them. I've done another one since that video was um, done there, the, the last bit you've washed. I didn't film it. I didn't need to because all you really want to see is the, the gradual results over the next 12 months. So. Uh, we'll see where we get to. I'll keep filming it until the Synergy Light has died and then we'll have a summation video a bit later on. Thanks very much for watching. Hope that was useful for you. Links to all the products are down below. Go and like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.